Hello everyone and welcome to Net Crypto where you get important information and news about all coins and tokens of interest and today we're taking a look at Rebel Satoshi. Right, this is coming by popular demand. This one is a scam. Right, it's a scam and I'm going to be telling you why I have just put the verdict that this one is a scam. Right, and um, also how you can wise up against the scammers. So Rebo Satoshi. So the first thing first that already looks suspicious is if you just click on the team. I don't even know why, why they've put team right here on their tabs. Look at this. Right, these are the images you see of bank robbers and people who rob other people, right? Like in movies and stuff. So literally, by having this mask, there, this is a subliminal message that you're just sending that we are stealing your money, right? We are stealing your money by having this sort of like mask, whatever that, that, what they, that they've got right here on the team. I don't understand why a project will put a team tab, right? But not actually dox themselves. Do AMAs live and all that. If you want to put a team there, it's fine. If you don't want to dox, it's fine. But why put a team and then you just masquerade your face? I just don't get it, right? I don't get it, right? It's like if I decide to dox myself and then I put a mask, it doesn't make any sense, right? If I decide to dox myself, I should just dox myself. There's no reason for me to just put, to put a mask like this. So that's one of the signs that you can already see that uh, this uh, project, right, it's extremely dodgy. It's actually a scam. Right, so, but just, th th that's not the only thing. So one of the things that we want to go and look at is actually the roadmap. Right, so the roadmap has got a lot of red flags. So for example, phase one, we see, uh, one of the things that I do not like about roadmaps, uh, some of the roadmaps is they don't actually put a, 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 a year, right, in which quarter they're actually going to accomplish whatever they've put on the roadmap. Yeah, they've just got phase one, phase two. We don't actually know. When is phase one? When is phase two? Phase one, launch website, audit and verify smart contracts, launch exclusive pre, uh, private pre-sale. So one of the things that you already see, their goals for phase one are very lightweight, right? This is low content, right? Uh, so obviously, they could, even if they've just put an extra ounce and prompt AI, AI was going to give them much more information to put under phase one. That makes them look a little bit more legit, but they couldn't be bothered. They just put launch website. Obviously, you need a website, right, if you're going to launch a crypto. And audit and verify smart contract, like, come on. These are uh, just regular things you need to do. Phase two, launch official pre-sale, right, major marketing and influential partnership program uh, campaign, right, uh, build engage, engaged community, launch community rewards program, sell out public pre-sale, and then they're talking about NFTs. NFTs are some of the biggest scams in crypto that we have seen, right? NFTs are some of the biggest scams. And then phase three, Ben Event. Come on. Ben Event doesn't do nothing, right? It doesn't help anything. Whether you ban or you don't ban, it doesn't help nothing, right? Um, unless if you really put some uh, real uh, ingenuity into your banning. Like, for example, if you look at how Binance have been banning BNB, Right? That's an example that you can actually follow through when it comes to banning. And it will have significant effect in terms of the price point right? of banning. But banning, in, it, it doesn't really help much in improving the value of the token. And then DEX listings, launch staking, release second NFT collection. You're already going to your second NFT collection, but we don't see any sex listings. When are, when, when are sex listings going to take place? You know the reason why there are no sex listings? Maybe after this video, they're going to say, we want to prove our net crypto wrong and we're going to have some sex listings. That is going to be great. But the reason why they don't have them at the time of shooting this video is because when you go on a sex, you need to get doxxed, right? You need to do interviews in some cases with uh, some of the people behind the exchanges. They need to know who you are they need to interview you. They need to know where to, you need to dox yourself, basically. They need to know where you stay. If anything happens, they need to give your information to the authorities. So that's why a lot of people shun away, uh, a lot of scam projects shun away from sex listings. They just want to stay on the decks, right? And then launch staking. 
Like, come on. Staking. You know, the thing about staking is when you stake, it's like you're putting money in a savings account, right? Uh, and when you put money in a savings account, you get an APY. Traditional banks, 3 to 5%. That's what you're going to get. Some with maybe some products are going to get 7 8% in some cases, right? The reason why banks can promise you between 3 5%, even 8% on some products is because they are doing a lot of stuff with the money that is coming in. The fractional reserve system, you put money in, they can lend it out, right? And they can make profit from credit, right? People paying interest on their um, credit. So they can afford to do that. But here you're saying launch staking and you're going to be giving people an APY. Based on what? What value are you giving to the market that is actually bringing in profit into the project? Except that you've just minted some rebel Satoshi tokens and you're just giving them out. It doesn't cost you anything, but it costs everything for the investor. This is why this is a scam. Whenever you see staking in a brand new project, right? Scam, right? Is what you should think. And then phase four. Phase four is actually quite interesting. Phase four is designed to lure you in. Because they promise the hope that one day we are going to do a play to end game and we are going to be reaching a hundred million market cap, right? This is just a pipe dream. It's never going to happen. There's never going to be a play to end, right? So one of the ways that you can wise up against these scammers is by grabbing this big brain crypto ego logbook. It's on Amazon, right? And it only costs about uh, 38 bucks. Right, a lot of people say, 38 bucks? No, that's too expensive. I cannot go for that. Right, link is in the description, by the way. It's an affiliate link. But what price would you pay to wise up against scammers or to just improve your knowledge, just in general, just for fun? Right, uh, it allows you to track about 70 pre-sales. Right, it allows you to track 70 pre-sales. And for each and every pre-sale that you track, you have two pages. The first page, you uh, track pertinent information about the project. Right, so like I was saying, a lot of people say this is too expensive, but they've got no problem whatsoever to drop a thousand, two thousand dollars. I've I've had a subscriber who dropped a hundred and thirty thousand dollars on a project that was one week old, and it ran away with the bag. Right, uh, in, in that instance, this is about two years ago. It went away with three million US dollars. Right, up until today, the case is with Interpol. Right, they are still trying to find the 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 scammers behind that, right? So 38 bucks, right, to wise up against scammers is next to nothing. It's a drop in the ocean, really. So the first page allows you to track pertinent information about the pre-sale. For example, you, you get to record the pre-sale start date, pre-sale end date, the website, the X handle supply, how much are the top 10 holders holding? Because remember, now it's the pre-sale, right? It isn't launched yet, so there's no pre-sale contract. But soon after it launches, then you're going to get a pre-sale contract. You're going to be able to see uh, how many people are holding the token, what is the percentage of the top 10 holders, and there's a notes section where you can just put pertinent notes that you find interesting for yourself. And then my favorite section is this one right here, right? This scam or legit evaluation, right? For example, Doc's team. Obviously, this team, it's pretending to be doxed, but it's not, right? And then if it's doxed, do they have LinkedIn? It doesn't make any sense for you to be doxxed and not have LinkedIn. You need to have LinkedIn. You need to see, because you're asking us to put money into this thing. Uh, we need to see your, your track record, what other companies you've worked for, what projects you've managed, at what scale, right? And then also the pre-sale contract, value proposition, exactly what are they really providing. For example, if just taken a look at uh, Rebo Satoshi, they're not really providing anything, right? They are promising that maybe in stage four, you're going to be seeing a play to end game. What is this game all about? They don't say nothing about it, right? There's nothing about this game. What, are, what is it going to be? And how are they going to really reach the 100 million? There's no say, right? And then you've got another section, which is very important, which is the launch price tracking, right? Where you, you actually track the price after the pre-sale launch. You can actually go and track, track the price movement. This will help you to get insights across multiple pre-sales. Imagine after you have tracked 70 pre-sales, the information and the knowledge that you're going to gain. And of course, when it comes to you deciding to invest, like I say, I always tell you guys, don't invest in the pre-sale. If for any token, a lot of people say, uh, if we had bought Pepe in the pre-sale, we're going to make 
we're going to become millionaires. Right? Guess what? If you had invested into Pepe soon after Pepe was launched, you were still going to be a millionaire, right? But without the a lot of scammy things that happened during the pre-sale, some after the pre-sale ends, they're not able to claim their tokens. A lot of scammy things happen, right? So when it comes to investment, right, you have the amount. You can actually track the um, if you decide to invest after the pre-sale. Because guess what? This is one of the things that uh, a lot of people don't realize. If a project, mo most of these projects that are scams, what are the scammers hoping for? They are hoping for it to actually explode, like a Pepe. Okay, now let me ask you a question. Was Pepe a scam? I know 90% of people are going to say, no, Pepe was not a scam. Why would you say Pepe was not a scam? Well, I'm going to tell you that Pepe was a scam. Okay, don't, don't close the video right now. Don't close the video. You can close after this statement. The reason why I say Pepe is a scam for those who have been around crypto for at least a year. Remember this article? Pepe Coin says bad actors on team stole 15 million Pepe. So they admitted after it was launched, it's been to Binance, it's been everywhere, huge market cap, and then they drained 15 million from the project. And then when that happens, people asked, it was a huge dip. And they said, the people inside, they said, no, it was some bad actors on the, on the team. Right? It was some bad actors on the team. They're the ones who did this. We've gotten rid of them. Uh, we are now all legit and all that. Which means from the beginning, those bad actors were in Pepe. And when you've got bad actors into a coin, it makes it a scam. So 15 million was scammed out of Pepe. Right? So you need to be, these are some of the things that you need to watch. You need to change the way that you think about some of this stuff. And you need to find your angle. Right? Where do you make your money? Right? So when you invest, you can, of course, uh, record the amount you bought, price, back, profit and loss, and also your emotions at the time of investing, and there are also some notes around that. And on the second page, you've got some ego notes. This is where you just go, uh, you can just record any sort of information that you see that is interesting for you. When you visit their Twitter page, see what are they talking about. Right here we see, we can see Nugget Rush is another scheme that we are following through. Right here, Rebel Satoshi, what are they talking about on their Twitter? Right in their Telegram. Those are some of the information that you can put here in Ego Notes and also, uh, also adoption tracking. Remember, we talked about Pepe. Pepe Blue, right? Pepe Blue. And uh, if we actually go on Pepe, let's just go and check. Where is Pepe right here? Is it part of the top 10 hundred at least? I don't see any way uh, Pepe is part of the top 10 hundred. Let's look at Pepe. Right, use that as an example, right? Uh, Pepe, right? So let's go and see what is happening with Pepe, and we go on the all time, right? So, when you go on the all time for Pepe, we do see it's up 1500% in the all time for Pepe. So, if you had bought Pepe soon after the pre sale had ended, you're going to get your tokens and one of the things that help you to actually identify whether a token is a Pepe or not is the adoption tracking. Because, for example, X, right, when you go to, so currently we see 27,000. We know that some of these figures of followers, they can just buy followers, right? There are multiple platforms out there where you can just buy followers, right? So you can now start to actually check, okay, on their YouTube how many subscribers do they have? Currently 1,200 subscribers, right? They've got four videos. And when you see this adoption growing, you can record it in your big brain crypto ego logbook, right? And multiple other channels that they've got here, Discord, all of that. You can record the adoption tracking. And also you can watch the news and all that around the project, record it here in your ego notes. These are some of the early indications that you will be able to gain the market, right? in seeing that this project is going to explode, even if it is a scam like a Pepe. But you need to know when to exit, right? Very important. You need to know when to exit, but never ever buy in the pre-sale. That's one of the things. But you can track pre-sales in your big brain crypto ego logbook right here on Amazon. As I said, the link is in the description. You can grab yourself a copy, right? So this is some of the information that I just wanted to share with you with this one, right? Uh, this one is a scam. Their roadmap makes completely no sense. So this is one of the things that, like I showed you, right? You don't have to go deep into the blockchain. What, how are they moving money around and all of that? Uh, we want solid evidence. No, what the, the, the simple things, what they are saying. 
right? You can actually see whether it's a scam or not. It's not rocket science, right, to see if something is a scam or not. It's not rocket science, guys. Right, so this is something I wanted to share with you. Let me know. What do you think in the comment section? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Right? Uh, I know a lot of people are not going to be happy, especially those behind the project. But uh, for sure, this one is a scam, right? I would stay far, far away from it. But I'll be watching it. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.